Dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's read. From the timeless collection of Malti Joshi, let's read Resham Ke Dhage. Let's begin with the story. After winding up my entire work, I was preparing myself for my afternoon nap when my conscience warned me that only few days are left for Raksha Bandhan festival. If I did not sacrifice my one or two afternoon, then I will not be able to post them on time. I thanked my conscience for this warning and spread out all the necessary stuff for the annual letters like rakhi, envelopes, address book, glue, rolly, towel, etc. After spending all the stuff on the table, I was sitting idly for a few minutes as I could not understand from where to start and with whom to start. Honestly, the truth is mere thought of writing so many letters is giving me jitters. Every year I think I will make it a week long program and write one or two letters daily but this cannot be done and suddenly the burden comes upon at once my daughter once suggested to me mama just write one letter and make several copies of those letters just keep changing the name of your brothers it was a good suggestion but my heart was not ready to accept it who writes letter in today's time Raksha Bandhan is the only year long festival when we write letters. I always try to give personal touch in every letter. Personal touch cannot be given in photocopies. I started by writing a letter for Nikhil Bhaiya. However, he is my maternal cousin, but he is the eldest one among all of us. That's why I decided to begin with him. I could have only written date and respected Bhaiya on the letter pad when my daughter banged inside the house. These girls cannot walk or speak softly. Are wa, mama, your rakhi shop is open. Have you sweared not to talk properly? What do you mean by shop? I scolded her. But mama, this is a shop. You give with one hand and you take with one hand. Yes. There was a time when there was so much happiness in taking gifts on rakhi. Then even a 5 rupee note would make us so happy. and now my heart is filled with all of this i pray for their betterment and good health so that i can keep them sending rakhi every year but ankita was not paying attention to what i was saying she was busy in counting the envelopes kept on the table my god mama are you seriously going to write so many letters and that too with your hand mama it's a sheer wastage of energy Are you can get thousand cards from the market you just need to write name and address and post them simple see and she pulled out one beautiful card from her purse it was indeed a dhasu card on the top was a sketch of a brother and sister while inside beautiful quote was written everything was ready and like ankita said you only need to write name and address and post it okay What is the cost of this card? Mama, only 55 rupees. <gasps> What? 55 rupees? I was shocked. There were more cards ranging between 70 rupees to 80 rupees. But due to your fear, I didn't get them. Thank you so much for your kind consideration. Mummy, he is my only brother and he is sitting so far in USA. I can spend at least 55 rupees for him. Can't I? Of course of course you can after all you are a daughter of a very rich man oh mama you all to do the same thing and you will be saved from a lot of hard work but beta for me only one envelope will not be sufficient see mama for both of your real brothers you can send these cards and for your cousins you can purchase a 5 5 rupee envelope ankita i said in a stern voice in our family Brothers are brothers only. There are no cousins. Ankita understood that her mother is in the mood of giving lectures now, and she thought that to run away from here will be a better option. She climbed upstairs to her room, humming a beautiful song. However, what I said was the truth. In our times, brothers meant brothers. There was no concept of cousin. If while introducing, they would be addressed as chachera cousin or mamira bhai. They would feel insulted. I still remember an incident from my niece's wedding. 
it was the first wedding of the next generation that's why nearly all the relatives were present on the wedding day there was a lot of hustle and bustle it is difficult to meet everyone amid those rush next day since i was the bride's bua i was sitting relaxed and i was introducing everyone when some 10 15 relatives had been introduced then the groom's mama ji puffed bhabhi ji are all of them your real brothers i was silent now what to answer and especially when i was introducing the person who was standing was actually not a relative of ours he was the son of munshi ji sunil we all have always considered him as our brother and that's the reason why he came to attend the marriage from bangalore but how to make them understand this thing from here sunil picked up the thread and said are bhai sahab you only remember that she is the eldest bua of the bride parul there is one more incident somewhat similar once i was traveling from train and on the front berth two ladies were sitting maybe devrani jithani they were coming back from any wedding as they were discussing the atrocities that took place in the marriage there were two kids a girl aged in somewhat 5 or 6 year and a boy boy was small both the ladies were so engrossed in their gossip and were not paying attention towards the children then suddenly don't know on what matter the girl pushed that little boy and somehow i caught hold of him otherwise he would have fallen on his head and might have hurt himself i pampered the boy and said to that girl beta he is your brother you should not push him like this on hearing this that little brat gave me a spontaneous reply aunty he is not my brother he is my cousin i was stunned on hearing this i was surprised that no one said anything instead both the ladies were busy in praising her accent and spoken english what should we call this modernization or being elite mama please give your pen my pen is not working properly i handed her the pen and murmured in anger you all are the students and do not have a proper pen she didn't answer and kept on writing the address on the envelope then i saw her getting ready to go somewhere out of curiosity i asked her where are you going beta mama i'm going to post office to post this card if your letters are ready then you also give it to me i will post all of them together they will reach early are but i have not written all the letters and you also write something for your brother what is the hurry to close the envelope are mama everything is printed see such a wonderful message is written then why should i write and what should i write but beta all of this is in the printed format very generalized and very common you can write something from your end it will give it a personal touch mama please bhaiya does not have time for all these things you know how busy he is these days i would be thankful if he takes out the rakhi and tie it on his wrist all these things are mere formalities mama you never know when they will end no my child it's not formality it's a bond i said but she didn't have time to listen to me bitiya rani kicked started her scooty and off she went i don't know why this generation is always in a hurry in such a rush how will they be able to cherish the beautiful bond of relations while in our time we used to spend all our energy and time in saving and cherishing the relations at times i felt the need to make ankita sit near me and tell her the story of imarti didi imarti is jamna mosi's daughter jamna mosi used to wash utensils at my mother's home and in those days you were not allowed to address any servant with their name we had to address them either as bua mosi chachi chacha didi etc so imarti was the only nishani of jamna mosi's late husband mosi used to carry her everywhere for work when bhaiya was only 6 7 months old imarti was the first girl who tied the rakhi to him we sisters came very late on this planet this sequence of rakhi which once started is continuing till today 
respecting this relation in imarti's wedding ma gave her 21 utensils seven sarees gold earrings nose ring and many more things whenever there was a marriage in the family a saree for imarti would definitely come when bade bhaiya was blessed with a boy then imarti came home with all the crackers and holes last year when imarti's daughter was to get married i also received the card i thought to attend the wedding as i will be able to meet my family members also when i reached home i found bundles of clothes kept in a corner of the living room i asked bhabhi about all of this to which she replied didi all this is for the bath ceremony of imarti didi but we don't have this tradition in our family yes but they have this tradition didi she does not have any brother if bath ceremony will not be held then she might feel insulted in her extended family she has been tying rakhi to your bhaiya since childhood so she has all the right to ask for bath then when we have to leave bhabhi i don't know didi as she didn't came to ask for bath i even had a fight with him as we have purchased everything and she didn't even bother to come i felt very angry i took a rickshaw and immediately went to her house she was very happy on seeing me and hugged me tightly i neglected her warm welcome and said वैसे तो यू कीप ऑन रैंटिंग भैया भैया भाभी भाभी बट इन योर डॉटर्स मैरिज यू हैव फॉरगॉटन देम शी वाज स्टैंडिंग डम स्ट्रक एंड सेड दीदी आई हैड सेंट द कार्ड्स यू डोंट सेंड कार्ड्स टू योर फैमिली मेंबर्स इफ यू वुड हैव गोन टू आस्क फॉर भात देन हैड दिस बीन एन इंसल्ट टू यू टीयर्स फिल्ड हर आईज एंड शी स्टार्टेड क्राइंग दीदी आई वॉन्टेड टू गो बट माई हजबेंड सेड it is okay till rakhi but all again you are asking for bath that will be too much for them why to bother such noble people he said and you agreed to this couldn't you say that your bhai and bhabhi are not that bad i left after thundering hardly an hour would have passed when imarti came at our door step with her extended family members singing the bath geet bhabhi did her vidai with all due respect and in the evening we went there with full dhol and band everyone gave us a massive welcome at the gate and then bhaiya bhabhi fulfilled all their due responsibilities of an elder brother and bhabhi they had given chanderi sari and gold earring to kajal baskets of fruits and sweets were also sent in abundance the entire ceremony ended with music folklore and dance it was drizzling that evening and i still can remember imarti's melodious voice humming the lines mat barso indra raja mera ratan bhataiya aayega dear friends this was the end of a beautiful story please stay tuned for more such stories and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you